communication between neurons and communication between neurons and muscles occurs through a specialized junction called synapse. The most common type of synapse is the chemical synapse. Here we examine the events that takes place at the neuromuscular junction. A chemical synapse using the neurotransmitter acetylcholine. Synaptic transmission begins when the nerve impulse reach the presynaptic axon terminal. Depolarization of presynaptic membrane initiates the sequence of events, leading to transmitter release and activation of receptor on the postsynaptic membrane. Shown here are the principal molecules and organelles necessary for release of neurotransmitter. Synaptic vesicle exist in distinct pole, either scattered to the cytoskeleton, in a reserve pool or free in the cytoplasm. Some of the free vesicles make their way to the plasma membrane and dock as a series of primary reactions, prepare the vesicular and plasma membrane for fusion. The membranes of the synaptic vesicles are drawn together by a protein complexes collectively called snares that are expressed on the vesicles and presynaptic membrane. When the axon terminal is depolarized, voltage-gated calcium channel is open and calcium ion rushes into axon terminal. Some of the calcium ion binds to the protein in a synaptic vesicle membrane called synaptotagmin. When calcium binds to synaptotagmin on the synaptic vesicles nearest the active zone, the vesicles are drawn even closer to the presynaptic membrane. The vesicles fuse with the axon terminal membrane and release their transmitter into the synaptic cleft. Some of the transmitter molecules bind to the spatial receptor molecule in the postsynaptic membrane. The response of the postsynaptic cells either excitation or inhibition depend upon the particular neurotransmitter and receptor combination. For example, the receptor for acetylcholine is permeable to sodium. After binding to acetylcholine, the channel opens and sodium ions enters the postsynaptic cells, thereby generating excitatory postsynaptic response. Transmitters are inactivated or removed rapidly from the synaptic cleft. So the transmission is brief and accurately follow the presynaptic input signal. For acetylcholine, an enzyme in the synaptic cleft, acetylcholine esterase breaks down the acetylcholine into choline and acetate. The release of transmitter from the receptors cause the channel to close. Not all transmitters are broken down by the enzyme in the synaptic cleft. Many transmitters are rapidly cleared from the synaptic cleft by being taken up into the presynaptic terminal by a special protein called transporters. This process is known as reuptake. Reuptake allows the terminals to recycle the transmitter molecules. The membrane needed for creating synaptic vesicles is also recycled. The recycled vesicles are refilled with the neurotransmitter molecules and are ready to another round of synaptic transmission. Thanks for watching this video.